literally oh. not sweating oh. in his air-conditioned seats. Yeah. Yeah. What you don't see on this first that is the road to game. We make everyone drag their pride and joy through mud, dirt, rocks just to come on the show. So we teamed up with Chemical Guys. They make a variety of products, everything from wheel and tire cleaners, interior detailers, waxes, ceramics, and beyond. For example, this EcoSmart waterless wash and wax. Complete car wash in a bottle. Shake it up, spray it on your car, and wipe it off. Perfect for if you live in an apartment, don't have access to a hose, or you care about the environment, you don't want to waste water on your car. It not only cleans, it contains a wax that leaves your car looking fresh. If you want to learn more about this product or how to use it, go over to their YouTube channel. They got tons of content teaching you how to detail your car, use all their products, Maybe you'll mm -hmm. learn a thing or two. They got retail stores all over the country. They're called Detail Garage, or you can find them at your local AutoZone, Walmart, or even on Amazon. Click the link below, check out some of their content. We're gonna have them detail some of these cars and some of our cars back at the shop. Learn a thing or two. That car needs it so bad. Welcome back to This versus That. Today we have a pretty odd matchup as usual. Technology versus a blazing high horsepower maniac. Dan pretty much covered all of it. So yeah. Let's just go look yeah, at these cars. Go. Yeah, we're idiots. How's it going, man? Can you tell us what your name is and what you brought us today? Yeah, I'm Steve Dynan. I used to own a BMW tuning company called Dynan Engineering. You oh, heard never of heard of it before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started a new company called Carvon because I sold the old company, and now we're doing BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, and Audi. I brought a M8 Comp today with some monster heat exchangers, suspension, wheels and tires, and software, and it makes 900 flywheel horsepower. Oh my Jesus. God! Right right into you're into like it. you're right a legend in BMW tuning. <laughs> I mean, you. Dynan was like the OE aftermarket or BMW since 1979. Oh my God. That just means I'm really old. <laughs> <laughs> we still got cool cars. You're still doing cool stuff. Yeah, That's I know. Great. My wife wanted me to retire after I sold the company and I tried that for a few months, but it just not me. I like tuning cars too much. I like racing too much. It's Can like... you walk me through this? Maybe I'm the only person here that didn't even know this car existed yeah. until no, today. No, no. Did yeah. you know? No, no. I was like, what is I, that? I actually didn't know an M8 existed. I, fi yeah. I figured it was. Well, this replaced the M6. So okay. they don't make the M6 anymore. So this is the new two-door coupe. Okay. Huge, and it's basically huge, based huge, on the huge. same as the F90 M5. So it's basically the same powertrain and chassis, just different sheet metal. Do you know what it weighs? Yeah, 4,030 pounds, which is not that bad. With all-wheel drive, bad. they it's actually all lowered drive. the weight of 150 pounds over the last yeah. model and added all-wheel drive. What's so, under the hood? What yeah, power is this It's thing? a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. I'm sure it's not cool to look at, but can we look at it? Yeah, sure, yeah, absolutely, case? yeah. I'm not cool enough. Wow. Wow, that's, that's a pretty, lot yeah, that's of stuff. Cool. It has 12 heat exchangers in the front of it. If it had 10, I added two more. <laughs> Impressive. So this is a hot V, which I think is really cool, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, So this is kind of something derived from race cars, right? Actually, race cars, we don't put them up there because the center of gravity is too high. Oh, really? On the engine with the turbos on top. We normally hang them on the bottom to lower the CG. The reason oh. they do it on street cars is it reduces turbo lag. The exhaust plumbing is slow. It's easy to package so they can take this engine out, put another car in, so worry about exhaust routing and hitting frames. And right, right. So they, they make a is unit that- Is heat management that, a portion of it too? Because it's kind of like closer to the It top. actually has a heat management issue because all the heat wants to radiate and bubble all the paint on the mm. hood. <laughs> so what, what they actually do is they have a, they have a fan in here and the fan uh, stays on. They put this little lip here and it blows air under the cover and they wow. time how long it takes the turbos to cool down and the fan runs for like a three or four minutes and it finally shuts off and it cools the turbos down enough so it won't bubble the paint on the hood. Wow, wow, wow. that's so, amazing. Can you tell me like just a little bit about how this is stuck? Like what, what power does this make factory? 617. So you, you put quite a bit more power into this. Yeah, and it actually makes closer to 675, so we added like 
you know, just over 200. Well, it's a beautiful car. I think big BMW old, really did a great job. They didn't go brakes. overboard with the grills. It's got the big carbon ceramic brakes big on brakes. it. Hold up, before we get into the brakes. Isn't that cool? What the hell is this for? It's that can't be for the air, it's air box. It's a structural reinforcement. There's an aluminum brace that goes across the front here, and this is structural reinforcement <laughs> that goes around the air box so they could get the air in and still make the car strong. Isn't that neat? That's amazing. I want to take a look inside. Oh, my gosh. Is the interior is just beautiful. It's, it's, it's a great luxury car, too. <laughs> wow. That's nice. Dang, dude. I love the seatbelt with the M stripe on it. That's super nice. I like the stitching. Yeah. yeah. They did a good job. Yeah, like they all did. The, yeah, all this the looks carbon. really nice. What wheels are these? These are forge lines. They make them for us and custom offset and spoke design. And uh, yeah, those are uh, 11s in the rear and 10 and a halfs in the front. And it's a 305 rear to 295 front. That's a so what's the speed of the transmission? Is there like 10? It's an eight speed ZF eight? auto. It'll do 212 on the top end. Wow. 212. Wow. 212. Wow. 212 yeah. have, you, have you that is personally that? tested? Yes, I have to or I couldn't certify. Where did you do 212? I don't know if I want to say. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's illegal! Any outside aesthetic mods, or is this all uh, stock? All the carbon is BMW, so what we've done is the wheels and tires, a suspension, so it's a coilover kit that keeps the electric dampers on the car. And then we have uh, different control arms with different uh, bushings in them, and they're not really bushings, they're like bearings, but they're not like a monoball, they're like a through ball joint, so they're quiet still. And then tubular anti-roll bars, so the car handles amazing, actually, that's the best thing about the car. We gotta go check out those. Yeah, things. from one beautiful, sophisticated coupe to another. I know you so well that I just don't care. We get right into it. But can you tell the people who you are and what you brought? Jose from the Bay Area. This is a 2006 GTO. It's a drift car. I borrowed some wheels with somewhat of a sticky tire, I guess. And we're going to try to get it to hook. Thank God, because that offset was killing me. I knew those weren't. <laughs> yeah. I knew those weren't yours. So for everyone who hasn't seen the episode where Jose stopped by Tire Slayer Studio. <laughs> I think we should do a quick overview on this car. Tell them what it is. Let's show this engine off. See what you're bringing to this fight. I see you fixed the car, by the way. Yeah. Um, a little band-aided. Yeah, right? grabbed a four by four and a sludge hammer. Just banged it back out, put a new tail light on it. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. All right, so what are we looking at here? It's a LS base. Forged LS3 on 15 pounds, the YSI blower. Stock ECU? No, it has a Holly Terminator X with the 1700 injectors, ID 1700s. It's on E85? E85. On E85, yeah. yeah. We have okay. three fuel pumps. So what does this make? 830. Why does it weigh? I have no idea, I haven't weighed it. Well, these are pretty heavy from yeah. the factory. Stock for stock, this might be heavier than that, Well, right? he's, he's got a bunch of sure. stuff cut out there. Yeah, he's got yeah. the car all light on the inside. Yeah, he's got a bunch the of stuff that helps, to weigh quite that helps bit, for though. drag racing, like the yeah. all this stuff <laughs> that uh, And the loose, tie, the loose tie rod. Drift cave <laughs> Matt Field did for you? Yeah. Matt Field knows a lot about drag racing, so yeah. he's good for this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so totally. So that up for it. And what transmission are you running in this? Um, it's just a built T56. Built T56, what, stock rear? No, it's a RTS quick change oh, diff with a drive shaft shop axles, drive shaft, and then for clutch, just a Mantic twin disc. So you gotta be rowing your own gears in this thing. Mostly gutted interior, you got a cage, full dash. Oh, he's got a full, full stereo. You though. see the dash? Full stereo, yeah. yes, sir. Gotta have That's two. That's nice. Man. You got rear mount radiator. Rear mount radiator, RTS quick change, uh, fuel safe fuel cell with three pumps in it, and uh, running dual calipers in the rear. I like that you smashed this car up at our yard not too long ago. <laughs> And you already got it pretty much buttoned up. Yeah. Kind of fixed. Yeah, we've got some self tappers in the diffuser, so it stays on. That's right, you can't yeah. see him. You yeah. don't point them out, no one knows. <laughs> but, uh, I wouldn't have noticed actually. For, for the most it. part, it's uh it's all back in one piece. What's your experience with drag racing? Um, I used to do it in high school. What we was your to, fastest car you would drag race back? I just had then. a cam only F body, that was my fastest car. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. At least you're still Sick. on the LS platform. Yeah. Good. It's my first drag race. You've never drag race. Never drag race, race. Never drag race once in my whole life. Passes down a strip. You don't have to do Not anything. Once. Though. I had to watch the first couple to make sure I knew how it went, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, they drop their hands and then sometimes and then, they go, other times they don't. I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> figure that out either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for you inexperienced drag racers, what we normally do here is run heads up to a thousand. Feet. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I'm easy going. Let's do it. Jose's car is fast, but M8. I didn't know that thing existed. And Jose's car makes a lot of tire smoke, so that means no traction. I'm going with the M8. I think the obvious answer is the car that we just found out existed today, which would be the M8. But I'm just going to support my boy Jose because he's a shredder. I don't even care if he wins. I just wanted to melt the tires off. I got a BMW, but I also have an LS. Jose actually drives, so I'm rooting for Jose. How do you bet against Steve Dynan in an M8 competition like this? I'm going for my boy Jose. Oh. Jose. Spot 
of confidence yes. in that lane. Bro, he's literally hot. not sweating no. he's in, in his air conditioned seats. Yeah. Round one. High horsepower rear wheel drive versus all wheel drive is always a struggle. Yeah, look at the tracks you laid down. Three that cars. That's not bad. I think a roll is a good I race. I think a roll is a good yeah. race. We're thinking a roll. Yeah, I'm gonna need a roll like in like second gear. How about you gear? pace the roll and then he'll he'll just go on okay. your go. I'm gonna okay. point to both you guys and just thumbs up and you guys start to roll, okay? Yeah. yeah. Well. As expected, this thing's really fast. Not too bad for a big luxury car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think what can make this kind of even is a roll race. Yeah, sure. When do we start from? He's very confident. All right. So, almost a thousand horse. <laughs> He's gonna run out of gas on this path. <laughs> what we're gonna do is about a 40 mile an hour roll. Jose's gonna set the pace. Steve's gonna follow him. Gonna go out this cone, go to a thousand feet. Round two. Leave on both yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, that was good. God, if I was Jose, I would have missed every gear. He <laughs> would have been like, hey, that's six. He's got to get off <laughs> that third. GTO by car. Nice. GTO by a car. That's a race. What do you want to do? You want to do the same thing? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. You jumped me just a little bit to start. I think it would have been even, but you know. Oh, okay. I, I didn't. I didn't know because you said he was gonna pace my car, so I, I yeah, can't, I can't see out of this yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's pacing. Plus, the just, speed was a little high. I was in third, down in third, but it, it's fine. I can deal with it. Feisty. They want to run it straight back. They just negotiate. We don't have to do anything. Round three. you get some traction. Do you want to do another one from a dig? I'm gonna lose on a dig, but I can try. Maybe we'll give you the hit. Okay. So he goes a car forward and then you go off his lead. Cause that race was identical to the last one. So we got to try from a dig again. All right. <laughs> So that was a good race then because he won by three cars the first time. We gave him two cars in the hit and they only won by a car. So if we gave him three cars, it would be a dead even race. So BMW is fast. Good job. Yeah, nice job, Thank boys. You. Thank fast you. Car. Appreciate it. it was good, so, well, man. now you guys are experienced drag racers. Yeah. We each got a kill in, in one way or another. Last call for donuts. <laughs> 